When it comes to the US citizens, they have one big problem – traffic congestion. Waiting for countless hours to reach your job or trying to hang out with your friends on the weekends is always the same story. To make things worse, a typical US driver lost 51 hours in traffic congestion in 2022, or about an hour a week, which amounts to a whopping $869 loss in traffic jams. Seeing all of these issues, Elon Musk has come up with an innovative solution that, on paper, looks as boring as its name, but it aims to revolutionize traffic congestion for both commercial and private vehicles. Join us on this journey as we uncover Elon's five underground tunnel projects and how they'll solve the big congestion issue that the world is facing today. And subscribe to the channel if you love watching exciting projects like these. You see, the multi-billion dollar sensation loves to keep his hand dipped in the most complex issues in the world. From his mission to Mars to now making the Earth a better place, Elon launched the Boring Company back in December 2016. Interestingly enough, this company is the most confused one due to its name, but worry not because we're going to be covering its real course here. With the Boring Company, Elon's plan is to tackle traffic congestion, mainly for commercial purposes. Countless delays are fatal for truck drivers and late delivery of cargo means a huge loss for businesses, angry customers and a lot more. Plus, we have LA, one of the most congested areas which is only getting worse by the day. It is the sixth most congested area in the US in 2021, with Angelinos losing 62 hours in traffic on average. All this mess sparked an idea in Elon's head, and aside from going to Mars as his last mission, he decided to revolutionize the transportation system. Elon Musk was frustrated by the LA's traffic, and in one of his tweets he said, Traffic is driving me nuts. I'm going to build a tunnel boring machine and just start digging. It shall be called the Boring Company. At that time, it was unclear when he would start this company, but boring doesn't mean boring in the conventional sense. But it was in terms of digging tunnels and making exciting plans that are already in the works now. The solution was simple. It was to build a network of tunnels under LA where electric vehicles such as Tesla would be held on specialized platforms where they'll be able to move at such high rates that it would solve traffic congestion issues in LA. Reduced congestion, faster travel time, and potentially connecting various cities with each other are Elon's plans. But if you've recently seen the news, there have been bigger updates than you could imagine. There are five tunnel projects and some of them are already in the works. So let's uncover and see what these underground projects are and what they mean for the average citizen of LA. Also known as the LVCC or the Vegas Loop, this project aims to provide a reimagined transportation system servicing the Las Vegas Convention Center. This is mainly used for convention and trade show attendees across the LVCC campus. Moreover, the Vegas Loop project aims to connect the new West Hall with the existing campuses. To make things interesting, the Las Vegas Convention has already opened the Resorts World Passenger Station, which is now providing direct access to and from the LA Convention. But what was the need for this unique project? To a regular businessman, it seems like an eccentric plan that would fail. You see, a typical walk between the West Hall to the existing North or Central Hall can take around 25 minutes. However, with the Vegas Loop, it will only take 2 minutes, saving around 23 minutes of the attendees' time. Moreover, this system is designed to transport a whopping 4,400 attendees per hour across the campus, with future vehicles holding up to 12 people at one time. From Grammy Week to sports conventions, everything would be much faster when it comes to the Vegas Loop. Currently, this project is still under construction, with the new Westgate being opened that makes it easier for guests of Westgate Resorts to move around the town. Ultimately, this project is all about business and costs around $53 million to Elon. This really isn't a huge amount for him, but wait for the next projects and they will blow your mind. Now we have the popular Resorts World Connector. Since the Vegas Loop was sort of limited in what it could do, the Resorts World Connection solved its biggest issue. It provides a quick and easy way for people to travel from Resorts World Las Vegas to the Las Vegas Convention. With Tesla's vehicles and a fast platform, visitors can travel in just one to four minutes. Phase one and two of this project have already been completed and now are waiting for the third phase's completion, which would make it easier to access the Las Vegas Convention and many nearby resorts. 
The third phase of this project aims to connect the system to a station located at 3150 Paradise Road, but doesn't affect the current link of Resorts World to LVCC. In that aspect, this project has mostly been completed and costs travelers from $1.50 to $2.50 for a day pass, which is much cheaper than regular traffic. While the cost of this project isn't publicly available, it was funded by the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority with a budget of around $47 million. And now for the moment everyone has been waiting for, the Vegas Loop. This project is not the Las Vegas Convention Loop as it's something entirely different. While the convention center comes under this project, the Vegas Loop is something big. It aims to provide fast and convenient transportation to the LA community the visitors, and everyone else. The Vegas Loop also contains the LVCC Loop and its future extensions, including casinos, the Strip, Harry Reid International Airport, and a lot more. This project alone aims to transport over 90,000 passengers, and recently, it's expanding beyond our imagination. Elon's tunneling company got permission to significantly expand the operations of the Vegas Loop under the city of Las Vegas. The LA City Council voted unanimously to approve the Boring Company's idea to dig more tunnels under the city. This time, it's in Clark County, which got the approval back in May 2024. This plan involves digging up to 68 miles of tunnels and building 81 stations, which would all be powered by Tesla's electric vehicles to carry around three passengers in one vehicle at a time. However, this project has already seen a lot of challenges, including safety concerns, low throughput of passengers, and just lack of accessibility. But according to the mayor of this area, Mayor Carolyn Goldman, said that hotels are begging for transportation options. This means that Elon's plan is indeed going to revolutionize this area, bringing in business and enhancing accessibility from all over the world. Here's a tweet from Clark County, Nevada. The fares start from $5 and go all the way up to $10. To fund this project, the Boring Company has already been approved for $48.6 million with a 2.2-mile loop under the convention center. According to the Boring Company, they've already transported over 1.15 million passengers, with a peak capacity of 4,500 people per hour. In contrast, a subway system can carry 600 to 1,000 people per train, so Elon won in that aspect. But the list of underground tunnels doesn't end there. The R&D tunnel is located in Hawthorne, California. This tunnel would be used for testing the Boring Company's public transportation system, the Loop and the Hyperloop. Interestingly, this project was completed already, including the O'Leary Station back in 2018 for less than $10 million. This tunnel is the perfect base for the Boring Company for research and development. But wait till you hear this crazy project Elon is working on. This project is known as the Hyperloop and is so innovative that it aims to travel at a speed of 700 miles per hour, forever revolutionizing the transport industry. There has been a lot of hype surrounding this project, and the concept is to change the world of transportation by moving people, cargo, and even airplanes in the future. At the IAA Auto Show in Munich, TUM Hyperloop showed off the pod that passengers would sit in. The company has built the loop to be 24 meters in length, and these pods would move at the fastest speed, covering shorter distances in the blink of an eye. By the next decade, we'll see what the Hyperloop is capable of, but for now, it's a unique concept that is under the boring company, and Elon is working towards making it a reality. But just like any other mega project, the boring company has seen a lot of challenges till now. For example, compared to regular subways, the boring company tunnels have a smaller diameter. Moreover, most of their technology is still under development, which could take years to come into play, just like we're seeing in the Hyperloop. So far, Elon Musk Boring Company is changing the way transportation works. Well, what if there was a fifth mode? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, I have a name for, it, name for it, which is called the Hyperloop. The Hyperloop? Uh, Hyperloop, yeah. Lastly, there's solving America's biggest issue, which is transportation. Now we ask you, what do you think about Elon's underground tunnel projects? Will they become the future of humanity, or will they be abandoned after the world refuses to leverage such change? Let us know in the comments down below and subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more mega project related videos.